think from East Brooklyn has fueled my art. I want to see the people that I've grown up with making sure that's represented in my art. I remember reading like my first manga and it was by Hiromu Arakawa and I was like so inspired. I was like, wow, ladies drawing this and it's like so great and the storytelling is amazing. I was like, I want to like write a story and draw a story that's like as like inspiring and like amazing as that. In middle school, I had one teacher was Interlock and like she was like probably the first solid art teacher that we ever had. She was like, well, you have something like, let me like give you these references you can use to like how to draw anatomy, how to draw portraits. And then I like, I remember giving her like one of my how to draw anime books and she actually used it in class. I went to a vocational high school, high school of fashion industries. I originally wanted to go to high school of art and design, but I didn't get in, but I'm glad I got into the fashion one because they actually have a really amazing art program when I went. It was like mini college basically. And it was like, we got to tap into like all types of different art. And I feel like that helped me prepare for Pratt. So I had like a really good portfolio by the time I wanted to apply to art colleges. If you're not white, like people would be shocked that you had talent or if you were smart. In my neighborhood, there were tons of kids like me that were into art but never actually went 